we just got our live stream up and running again. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to get a, the new URL advertised to everybody. So bear with us while we get the new URL posted to our website. So UI, oh look at the UI robot turn, UIC robot. It has a rocker bogey suspension, six wheels. And uh, it looks like the front and rear wheels um, can rotate just like the, the front wheels on your car can rotate in, in order to turn. And the San Diego State robot at the top of the screen is uh, not does not appear to be having any trouble getting across the um, obstacle zone. And the... Uh, UI Chicago robot appears to be now pointing roughly in the uh, the right direction. It looks like the the rear left wheel was just dragging just then. Yep, it's dragging. That is that could be an issue. It looks like both rear wheels are dragging. You can see by the um, trails that it's leaving behind. Now, it, it seems like that robot's other wheels were able to overcome. Um, that additional obstacle, but uh, boy, things would sure be a lot easier if uh, if all six of these wheels were being powered. Here's a good close-up view of the uh, San Diego State University robot, just now starting to plunge its um, uh, bucket ladder system, where several buckets are attached to a flexible conveyor, possibly a rubber conveyor. Um, looks like if it if it grips a little too much, it uh, um, it ends up stopping stopping the system a little bit. But uh, if they if they're grab grabbing just the right amount, it looks like they're able to make uh, good productive progress. Whoa! Look at that UIC robot uh, lifting its front wheels off the ground. So San Diego State University at the top of the screen, University of Illinois Chicago robot at the bottom of the screen. The uh, UI Chicago robot has a, a, a very interesting rocker bogey suspension system with six wheels. Um, the, the front and rear wheels of the six wheel rocker bogey system can obviously rotate as you can see in this view. It looks like they're probably trying to turn to the left and get past the berm. Meanwhile, San Diego State University at the top of the screen, you can see from this angle, you can see uh, as those buckets come around the top of that conveyor belt, they are uh, throwing their, their load into a hopper that is a wire mesh. And so uh, uh, what I suspect is happening is the, the fine material that is not scoring material is going to be going right through that mesh. And it's just the gravel, the rocks that are going to be remaining in their onboard hopper when they finish digging. San Diego State University is really uh, starting to uh, get a pile, and you can see how far the you can see how far their um, digging system just plunged down um, into uh, beneath the soil. You, you can see how it's going up and down. So they may be uh, they may be pulling their system up out of the ground and. Um, nearly five minutes into this 15 minute run, they may be about to head back to the starting point. Now you'll notice the San Diego State students installed some cardboard with their logo on the far end of the arena. I don't know if that's just, just 
for fun um, and just for marketing purposes, it is possible that uh, uh, a camera system on board the robot could use the uh, logo for um, recognizing uh, where it is in the uh, in the arena, um, or at least recognizing where the lander is and how to align itself with the lander. Or it's possible they just did it just for fun. There's uh, there's a crater that the San Diego robot um, just uh, went into a little bit, but I think this robot will be able to get past that crater. Oh, that one of those wheels, one of those wheels turned a little bit in a direction that. Uh, um, made me a little bit nervous, but they got past it, thankfully. San Diego State University at the top of the screen, heading back to the lander for their first cycle. And uh, if their offload um, system works um, reasonably well and reasonably quickly, they'll have, they'll have plenty of time to go back and dig some more. And it'll be interesting to find out if they go into the if they try and go into the same hole that they were in earlier, in order to go even deeper into that hole, or whether they uh, start at a completely different hole. Now on the bottom of the screen, you're looking at University of Illinois Chicago's robot that um, had some mobility issues when it first started. It was able to get itself out of the starting gate, out of the starting zone. Um, the rear wheels, you can see from the tracks, did drag, um, and they were not being powered um, for some of that uh, for some of that motion. Actually, most of that forward motion happened with the rear wheels just completely dragging along. And since then, they have been doing some, possibly doing some troubleshooting, um, possibly doing some. Um, uh, playing around with different, uh, different scenarios. At one point we saw the front wheels go way up off the ground. Um, you can still see in this overhead view, um, uh, two of their wheels, it, which implies that uh, the ones on the other side are moving too. So four of their six wheels um, powering and moving in order to um, try and correct the situation that this robot is, is sitting, in, sitting in right now. Okay, at the top of the screen, uh, San Diego State robot has apparently aligned itself with the lander, and you can, it almost looks like you can see some rocks in its bin. I know there's, I know there's quite a bit of, of this gray um, crushed volcanic rock in its bin, but it, it's a bin that has uh, lots of holes or a mesh, a wire mesh, and so it's really not intended to hold on to a lot of that um, fine particle. It's really intended to hold on to just the rocks, the gravel that are there. And it doesn't look like the bucket was able to get far enough beyond vertical to really uh, let all of their material out. We don't have a we don't have a camera view um, from the perspective of the judges' eyeballs right now is, is the best angle, but um, we don't have a camera right there available uh, to show you. But uh, as this as this dump bed falls back down, you can see there's still quite a bit of material sitting inside that dump bed, which is a, a little sad to see after all that work. There are six minutes remaining in this run. Is uh, San Diego State going to go back for more? It looks like they are. And it looks like University of Illinois Chicago is is still trying to get the robot past where it is where it has been sitting for a while. They appear to be doing some uh, some a few more aggressive movements than we've seen before, um, which seem to be getting their some of their tires um, dug in a little bit deeper. Looks like San Diego State is is heading to a different spot than they had uh, dug in before. And we're getting close to the five minute mark remaining on this run. In the background, from this angle, you can see how high the University of Illinois Chicago robot 
can lift their digging mechanism. Um, I'm not sure it's possible that that, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain that that is, is how they will dump once they've, once they've dug that, um, the, the underside, um, the curve, uh, of that onboard mechanism is probably their onboard hopper. And this is probably uh, where they raised their entire mechanism in order to dump out um, what they have on board. Well, University of Illinois Chicago is really getting aggressive with uh, trying to get their robot unstuck with, with uh, about four minutes remaining in this run for these two teams, their first run of two official competition runs. This angle gives us a good look at uh, um, the onboard hopper for the San Diego State University robot. And it also gives us a good view of their, um, their bucket ladder system, bringing the dirt up and over on that conveyor belt and dumping into their onboard hopper, which is a, a steel mesh or a wire mesh basket. Now, earlier when UI Chicago raised their uh, their mechanism, their digging and dumping mecha mechanism super high, it's possible that they were, um, you know, just testing out that mechanism in the arena. Oh, look at look at how uh, full some of those bucket buckets are on the San Diego State University robot. <clears throat> it's also possible that the UI Chicago robot uh, that the team decided to raise their um, system that high um, in order to change the center of gravity um, and change the the weight of where the robot's weight was um, on the ground in order to uh, possibly help maybe get them unstuck from that position two minutes and 40 seconds remaining so for those who are listening in the pits, you can get to our, our new live stream. It has a new URL. Um, and the easiest way to get to that is to go to nasa.gov slash lunabotics and click on the watch live link. That's the same place you uh, got to our, our earlier stream, but we have updated it with a new link. And so um, our new live stream, which we have finally gotten up and running, is now being um, offered up from our nasa.gov slash lunabotics website. So uh, there are only 35 people watching that stream right now. And we had uh, uh, we had nearly 200 viewers earlier. So um, <clears throat> if everyone who's in the pits is able to um, go on social media and tell all of their friends and family um, to go find the link to our stream on uh, nasa.gov slash lunabotics, that would really help us um, get everybody switched over from the old uh, earlier stream URL to the newer um, stream URL. We would really appreciate your help. We have one minute left in this in this run. It looks like the uh, UIC robot um, I think they were just doing some some digging, just for fun. Um, might as well might as well do some digging, um, since you're in the arena. You're only going to get two opportunities to be in the arena <clears throat> this year, so might as well test out your systems to the uh, and uh, not waste any time while you're in the arena. Thirty seconds left on this run. All right. From this view, uh, we can really see that uh, UI Chicago. Um, we can see their digging mechanism. That's. Uh, I'm really glad that they uh, decided to go ahead and try some digging, even though it wouldn't wouldn't score them any points. 
And uh, with that, our 15 minute timer has expired. So the University of Illinois Chicago at the bottom of the screen and San Diego State University at the top of the screen should be really proud of uh, what they've accomplished. Hopefully they can uh, go back to the pits and fix whatever needs to be fixing and um, have really great runs, uh, scoring runs tomorrow. So don't go anywhere because we have upcoming next University of Portland and the University of New Hampshire. And then after that, we have Montana Tech and University of Arkansas. And everyone who is in the uh, Robo Pits that can hear my voice, if you could go to the our new live stream, which is at